Ancient China was a fascinating place. A land where emperors and dynasties rose and fell, and borders shifted with the wind. Now just, imagine living in a world where a simple mistake could result in the most brutal and unimaginable punishment. From being buried alive to having your limbs severed, ancient China's justice system was not for the faint-hearted. In this video, we uncover the shocking truth about some of the most insane punishments given in ancient China that will leave you questioning the very concept of justice. Brace yourself for a journey through the darkest corners of history as we explore the sad truth about these gruesome punishments. The four main categories of crimes in ancient China. In ancient China, the most heinous crimes were known as the Ten Abominations. To avoid confusion, the Ten Abominations included specific crimes, ignorance of the law was not an excuse. The four major types of crime were Crimes against the emperor. These crimes included revolt threats and medical malpractice, especially if practitioners failed to follow the correct formulas. Crimes of treason. These crimes included the murder of a superior, the betrayal of a city, and the switching of allegiances. Crimes against the family. These crimes included killing a family member, making him a slave, or neglecting to care for an elderly family member. Laws against poisoning. These crimes were specific to harming another person with goo poisoning. This method employed a concoction comprised of poisonous centipedes, scorpions, spiders, snakes, and toads. Criminals gave the poison to an unaware victim, whose organs were destroyed and who vomited blood. The surprising but captivating harshness of the Chinese criminal justice system was astounding. Frequently, Chinese officials resorted to torturous physical and mental punishments that left even the most toughest criminals pleading for death. These punishments include the following. Lynchy, Death by a Thousand Cuts Firstly, we have to talk about the infamous punishment of Lingqi, also known as death by a thousand cuts. Lingqi was reserved for the most heinous of crimes, such as treason, and was considered the ultimate form of punishment. The punishment involved the condemned being tied to a post and then having small cuts made all over their body. The executioner would then proceed to slowly remove small pieces of flesh from the body, making sure not to hit any vital organs. The idea behind this punishment was to prolong the agony of the condemned and make them suffer as much as possible before they died. The process would continue until the condemned finally died from loss of blood or shock. It was believed that this punishment would also deter others from committing similar crimes, as the brutality of the punishment would serve as a warning. Yue, a human skeleton without its right foot was discovered in 1999 by Chinese archaeologists. Recent medical examination of the woman's partial bones, which were found at a place in Shaanxi province, revealed that she had suffered the brutal Yue punishment, a cruel form of punishment in ancient China where a criminal's foot was amputated. Before the early imperial period, for nearly a millennium, Yue was one of the punishments meted out in China as retribution for the most heinous crimes. Death by boiling, a slow and painful punishment. Another gruesome punishment was death by boiling. The punishment was reserved for those who had committed crimes such as murder or treason. The condemned would be placed in a cauldron filled with boiling water or oil and then slowly cooked to death. This punishment was not only incredibly painful but also very slow. It was believed that the slow death would serve as a deterrent to others, as it would be a warning of the consequences of committing such crimes. Beatings, this was most likely the most popular method of punishment. For instance, criminals could be flogged with canes or bamboo rods. The severity of the offense would also determine the number of blows. After severe beatings, death was common. Buried alive, the most inhumane punishment. This was considered to be one of the most inhumane punishments and was reserved for those who had committed the crime of patricide or matricide. The condemned would be placed in a small hole and then buried alive. They would slowly suffocate to death, and their screams would be muffled by the dirt that covered them. This punishment was not only incredibly painful but also very psychological, as the condemned would have to endure the knowledge that they were slowly suffocating to death. Maiming. In addition to branding with hot irons and amputation of limbs or genitalia, the ancient Chinese tortured their prisoners in other ways, including mutilation. Nose amputation without anesthetic was a common form of punishment for which there was even a linguistic term. Kang. The Kang was a large wooden collar that was placed around the necks of criminals. 
In addition, the criminal would be required to wear the kang, the weight of which would vary according to the gravity of their offenses. Most of the time, a list of their past crimes would be placed to their wooden collar. Dismemberment, a form of punishment and humiliation. Another punishment that was reserved for those who committed crimes such as murder or treason was dismemberment. This involved the condemned being tied to four horses and then having their limbs slowly torn from their body. The process was slow and incredibly painful, with the condemned often screaming in agony as their limbs were torn from their body. This punishment was considered to be not only a form of punishment but also a form of humiliation. It was believed that the humiliation that the condemned would feel would serve as a deterrent to others, as they would not want to be subjected to such a punishment. Tattooing, a form of public shaming. Lastly, we have the punishment of tattooing. This was considered to be a more minor punishment, but it was still incredibly painful and humiliating. The condemned would be tattooed with the crime that they had committed, as well as their punishment. The tattoos would be placed on visible parts of their body, such as their face, arms or hands, so that everyone could see them. This punishment was considered to be a form of public shaming, as the condemned would have to endure the stares and whispers of the public for the rest of their life. The ineffectiveness of brutal punishments. The ancient Chinese justice system was incredibly brutal and inhumane. The punishments that were given were not only physically painful but also psychologically damaging. The sad truth is that these punishments were seen as necessary to maintain order and to deter others from committing crimes. However, it is clear that these punishments were not effective in achieving their intended goals. Instead, they served to perpetuate a cycle of violence and brutality that only served to harm society. It is important that we learn from the mistakes of the past and work towards creating a more just and humane society.